National Nutrition Natural Health Reviews. Three minutes of the latest naturopathic info with Canada's leading nutrition experts. Watch, learn, and get healthy naturally. Hi, I'm Dr. Jonathan Beattie, naturopathic doctor and a health expert here at nationalnutrition.ca. Tinnitus or tinnitus can be one of the most annoying symptoms out there. Uh, it's characterized by a chronic buzzing, humming, whistling, any type of uh, consistent or chronic noise in the ear as opposed to like just baseline lack of sound would be considered uh, tinnitus or tinnitus depending on how you want to pronounce it. Uh, it's a symptom that can be indicative of other concerns. So if you do suffer from it, best to get it checked out. I've seen tinnitus as a symptom of high blood pressure. I've seen it related to a cyst or a tumor, what we call a space occupying lesion growing near the auditory nerve, creating that tinnitus. Typically what's happening is the brain is picking up a difference in sound signal between the left and the right ear or something irritating the auditory nerve along uh, either the left or right auditory nerve and your brain picks that up as sound and that's what leads to that chronic like humming, buzzing or noise in the ear. Now there's a few things you can try to do to get rid of tinnitus but like I said, the effectiveness of the different therapies is gonna depend on the cause. So best to get evaluated and work with your healthcare practitioner on effective treatments because if your tinnitus is due to a cardiovascular condition, working on blood pressure is gonna be more effective than just trying a general tinnitus remedy. One of the other things to look up, there's a technique known as finger drumming that you can do where you place your hands over your ears and then drum on your skull in a very specific pattern. Um, although it sounds kind of hokey, I've seen this uh, used with patients and in some patients they actually get immediate relief from the tinnitus and after a few episodes of doing the, the drumming, I've actually had a few patients where it completely resolved. So again, without any other serious intervention, no medications, no surgery, no serious evaluations, able to resolve the symptom. So I always say it's a harmless uh, treatment that's worth trying because if it works for you, I mean, I've heard of people suffering with tinnitus for years that uh, had it alleviated uh, by doing this drumming technique. And again, non-invasive, very safe to do. Give it a try. You can just you know jump on the internet, look it up. Very, very effective, simple technique to try. Now, in addition to that, other reasons you can have tinnitus is, as I mentioned, pathologies of the auditory nerve. Often that's due to sort of oxidative stress, changing the behavior of the nerve. So one of the things that's actually been studied to be effective against tinnitus are the use of certain antioxidant supplements. And within that realm, one of my favorites is astaxanthin because it's specific to fat soluble tissues and of course the nervous system, all of your nerves are um, insulated using fat and the ability of your nerves to function is heavily dependent on the quality of the fats in the membrane of the neuron and the best way to support that is through astaxanthin. Uh, lutein has also been studied and been shown to be effective in the management of tinnitus and then of course ensuring adequate mineral levels. So, Iron deficiencies, zinc deficiencies, B12 deficiencies as well have all been linked to tinnitus in some cases. And again, that's usually as part of a deficiency syndrome. So like I said, best to get checked out because your treatment might be as simple as you know uh, correcting a nutrient deficiency or even better, as simple as just doing that drumming technique. So if you suffer from tinnitus, I hope this video has helped you and I hope that it alleviates that concern for you. Any questions or comments can be posted below. Uh, you can subscribe to our channel where you can check out all of our health concern videos. And last but not least, always remember, knowledge is health.